cold outside. <laughs> when I was a kid, I used to whistle good. Now, I don't know, maybe my face got fat. <laughs> Trying to whistle is hard. <laughs> Can I do it? I can't whistle like I used to. Anyway, good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. This is Larry coming to you from the great state of Illinois. It's very cold. I made this video. Hey, Mississippi Magnolia. I make this, I'm making this video. I wasn't going to come on for a while, but I'm making this video to say thank you. I've had my email, my Instagram, and uh, uh, Facebook messages messenger or whatever no 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 no. okay facebook messenger email every way that you can reach out to me i've had so many people from all across the country saying give me well wishes and uh that's really been keeping my spirits up also there is a woman uh name uh i think tracy i don't know her whole name on uh youtube she's uh, a friend of jay wilson's real good tracy something uh tracy i don't know if you'll ever see this but uh thank you she never said anything to me personally, but Tracy actually, you know what? Certain way I do this camera, my face fades out. It's really light out here, you all. Okay, is that better? Um, Tracy said some stuff that was uh, blessing me. Uh, one of the young ladies, well, should I say the main lady that's been interviewing my daughter, uh, uh, she, she's been doing videos about Tracy talking about the edges of her hair is gone and talking about her furniture and just putting her down like trash and I thought it was just me. I'm like, God, why me, Jesus? But, you know, it was somebody else and uh, uh, and a few other people that she's attacked. So anyway, I wanted to say, Tracy, thank you, because uh, I thought it was just me. <laughs> Tracy's not my friend. I'm not hers, but I do respect uh, her realness. Uh, outspoken one, how you doing? Who said some great things to me. Uh, uh, anyway, I don't really want to address too much of this stuff, but I will say this, okay? I'm trying to choose my words correctly, you all. Number one, uh, I was very wrong and stupid in the blow up and the meltdown that I had. If you've changed, if you've cut the umbilical cord of a child, you're the first face she's seen besides the doctor popping her on her butt after they cleaned her off. And you hug and embrace and kiss this child and you love this child. And you vow to die for this child. And then all of a sudden you're getting made with videos. You did this and that to me. That hurts. I'm not going to lie to you. That hurts. When a person sits there and make uh, statements against you that you. The reason it's shocking is because this just started. This ain't no. I've been hearing this for 15 years. This started like. Oh boy. Maybe like eight months ago. Um, this is where it came from. Eight months ago. Not in her 23 years of living, eight months ago. So anyway, just, oops, get out the way, y'all. See the car trying to hit me? Y'all see that? I'm trying to hit me. Um, let me get somewhere so I can sit. Uh, this really started a few months ago or whatever, and that's why it shocked me. Uh, in the beginning, the rumor was uh, I had a Halloween mask. Uh, she told everybody in the family I had a Halloween mask, and I tortured her with it uh, when she was uh, eight, because she moved at eight, so it had to be before eight. And she was so scared that she would pee on herself and boo-boo and all this stuff. And as a result, she needed therapy. This is what was told for the past two years. Um, so anyway, I'm like, okay, I can't call her. Because when I call her, she records the calls for uh, TMCC or something like that. And so, uh, you know, how do you call somebody and talk to them? Uh, let me see. I really wasn't supposed to be getting on here doing all this. But, uh, you know, I got my email has been flooded with everybody saying, please, please talk to me. Say something. I'm I'm doing OK. My my meltdown, uh, my meltdown. I was upset because my daughter said that. And that was the whole thing. Everybody keeps saying, take the test, take the test. Provide me the test. Provide me the test. But on one condition, the same woman who told her that six months ago that started this mess, she take the test and say this. Are you saying this because Larry told your daughter, his other daughter, that you used to be a street walker in Chicago? She takes the test as well. This was tit for tat. This is nothing that my daughter's been talking about for 15, 20 years. It's happened when I was a kid and I can't help. This is something that popped up uh, a few months ago. 
or should I say six months ago, when uh, my other daughter's mom, uh, my daughter was in a, a uh, group home in uh, Mount Vernon, Illinois, for two and a half years, locked down. DCFS ordered it. So you already know something's going on in the house. My daughter was crying to me about one day, why is all this going on, daddy, this, that, whatever. And uh, I just basically told her, you know, hey, mama was kind of wild and I told too much. Well, she told her mom. And so when her mom reached Naya, she said, tit for tat, I'm going to say you did this. Uh, how do you bounce a child on your lap naked? I mean, who, who does that in front of somebody? How do you bounce a child on your lip naked? How do you, how do you do that? I mean, that's, that, that's, that's very perverted. That's very sick. Everybody keep take the test. Take, I don't have a problem taking the test, but she's going to take one with me. Uh, I get along with uh, my daughter's side of the family. They're, we've never had problems. This, is, this, this molestation thing is just something that just started at least six months ago. I was, I'm a, I was so proud when my brother talked to me. Uh, he's the only person I really care about, okay? He's the only person I really care about. And uh, what happened was uh, he told me about a year ago, man, Tanaya's mad at you. Y'all keep saying Tania's Tanaya. Tanaya Nelson or Brown, she's married. Um, and uh, I'm like, what's going on? Um, uh, Travis said, I have nothing to prove. You're right, Travis. I don't even know why I'm saying this. The fact is, I got a chance to talk to my mom yesterday. Had a wonderful conversation with her. And she talked to my wife, wonderful conversation or whatever. People say, pass the test, pass the test, take the test, take the test. Provide a test for me. I've never had nothing to hide. I worked for the federal government twice. I had to do strenuous background uh, tests, especially when you're working around kids. My record is clean. Uh, the reason I always say that is because uh, I work with brothers, or should I say, had brothers come in trying to do applications, and their record is messed up. And you see, it's so sad when a man's background stops him from getting certain jobs. Uh, do I love my daughter? Absolutely. Uh, I failed as a father. I've said that in my earlier videos before this ever came out. I am a major failure when it comes to being a father. And when I say failure, what I mean is uh, I was not there. When she turned eight years old, they moved to Texas. I never saw her in Texas, not one time. Uh, combined with child support and you know, uh, never having the real address, you know, I can get you on the phone, but that's about it. I wasn't going to go all the way down there and go to the wrong house and be stranded. So, um, you know, I, I never tried. That's where I was a failure yet. Being that she left at eight, she has really no memories of me except, you know, a thousand pictures that I have in my possession. Thank God for receipts, you know, and uh, I failed as a father. I'll tell everybody that I failed as a father. Um, one of the things that was brought up was Lil Larry, uh, uh, the, the lady uh, at TMCC wanted to interview him, but he's too young. I can tell you what happened in my life. I've only put my hands on my son one time. Keep in mind, I didn't raise him. One time. His mom called me up to Decatur, Illinois, to talk to him because he's being disrespectful. And as we're talking to him, she's sitting on the couch talking to him. He turns his back like this. And I stood up and said, man, turn around and face your mama. Now, it's kind of hard to try to be all of a sudden a tough dad. You ain't raised him. I'm like, man, turn around and face your mom. But you got somebody's got to be tough. The mom is talking to you. She's breaking down crying. And he, his back is turned defiant. So I stood up, got in his face, turn around and face your mama. He wouldn't. So I forcibly turned him around and he, bam, bust me in my face. Yeah, my, my 15-year-old son. This is a true story. We start wrestling. The mom got right in the middle or whatever. And the only thing he started screaming, you was never there. You was never there. You a fake dad. I hate GMF. And I said, you know what? I deserve that. I wasn't there. I put the blame on myself. I said, I left or whatever. Um, and that was it. And that was it. Um, so when you talk about trying to interview him, that's the only thing he can ever say. What you don't hear is four weeks later, his stuff was packed in my truck to move in with me. 120 miles away. So let's not make it seem like Larry's this bad guy. My kids love me, but you're hearing it from one side. Um, do I love my daughter? Absolutely, man, absolutely. And one of the reasons I made this video is because everybody's been emailing me. Man, are you okay, stable? You, you cussed on that. 
have you all ever got mad? Have you all ever got mad? Have you have anybody ever just listen? I, I knew a lady in church years ago. Um, uh, she was very praise God and hallelujah and thank you, Jesus. And what happened was somebody, uh, I forgot what it was. Uh, I was there. She had a cat. She was a cat lover. She loved her cats or whatever. A dog jumped over the fence, chased one of her cats and started biting. Man, that woman ran down there. You can't have that. And she lost it. And I stood back. Whoa, whoa. Anger and rage will make you say the wrong thing. I was wrong. Yeah, they took it viral. But have you ever got mad? You say, that, that was my kids out there. Have you ever had your child cuss you out and wish AIDS on you? Hope you die. Have you ever tried to call your daughter or your child and they got you on video or audio tape providing it for TMCC or whatever her name? Have you ever went through that? Y'all see, y'all see you trying to follow me. Y'all see that? Y'all see that? Where, where'd he go? Oh, <laughs> I'm just being crazy or whatever. Have you ever had your daughter, every time you call, everything is on tape? When that same daughter cusses your mother out, there is no respect there. When that same daughter cusses uh, little Larry's mom out, there is no respect there. She cussed her out. No respect there. So who am I? Cuss your daddy out? This is the same daughter. I mean, I don't want to go into, uh, 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 like Roz Curry says, it's my best interest to stop explaining. So I'm going to just say this. And end it. Okay. Thank you, Roz. Uh, my biggest fault is I get on here and I try to explain myself because I ain't got nothing to hide. But, you know, I've never ran across a monster like this. Your daughter said you were touched on. Somebody told her that six months ago. Somebody said when you, I was a baby, you bounced me on my lap and you was naked. So all of a sudden I'm a molester. Come on, baby. Come on now. I can't say too much because she's being coached by TMCC uh, on some stuff. And uh, I'm going to leave it alone. I'm going to follow Edie and Mississippi Magnolia or whatever. Uh, TSCC is on my page. Now, I don't know why you follow me, so, so you could tape this. She's probably taping this. You do not have the right to tape, uh, use my video, TSCC, okay? I'm telling you that now. She does not have the right to use this in any shape, form, or fashion. Uh, but anyway, uh, yes, I love my daughter. I hate the fact that uh, she's on this new bandwagon. At first, it was a Halloween mask. He scared me, and I'm peeing on myself. I need therapy. Now, all of a sudden, uh, somebody told me he bounced me on my lap, and I need therapy. My record's clean, and I love myself. I'm free. Look at look at me, y'all. I'm free. I'm, I'm out in public. I'm, I'm enjoying my life. And um, uh, uh, TMC, TSCC, I... I, you know, she she made a video today about a or a, the other day about a cussing. Come to my house. I got my nine, and I'm gonna do all this or whatever. Uh, nobody's threatening you or whatever. What I was saying is, uh, you can catch the wrong person, the wrong mindset, trying to destroy their life, and somebody will hit the highway and do something. I meant that. I don't mean me. Uh, and that's it. I don't care about the, the the trolls. I don't care. I know you have an army of people that. When you say Larry's on, start talking about him or whatever. And I've always said I was a horrible father in the regard that I was not there or whatever. Putting my hands on children? No, I don't do that. Uh, uh, so anyway, uh, I somebody said I'm at the welfare office. Actually, I'm buying some Chinese food down there. I'm stalling time. But I'll walk down there and get it as I talk since you want to talk stupid. Anyway, uh, thank you for the well wishes. Everybody's been calling me. How are you doing? Why are you, how's your mindset? Um, uh, um, I'm great. I'm great. It's, it's a sad situation because when this is all over, when TSCC is done using my daughter, by the way, her uncle called me and said she went shopping with the money, not therapy. So, you know, whatever the case may be, um, uh, whatever the case may be, I love life. I love God. And I'm not going to be on here explaining myself anymore. People have been trying to get me for interviews and let's tell your side or whatever. Listen, I care what my brother thought. I care what my uh, my bro- my uh, my mother thought. My mom is cool. Anytime her granddaughter cusses her out or whatever, and she changed the diapers too, it's a sad situation. So anyway, uh, God bless you all. Thank you for the many many well wishes or whatever. Uh, people say you're going to jail. Going to jail. I don't have a problem with a test or whatever, but um, uh. Uh, TSCC said that's her money to do what she wants with it. No, she said she needed therapy. Where's the therapy at? 
<laughs> the therapy was uh, going to the mall and Walmart. So um, I love you all. I love you all. Thank you um, for critical thinkers, critical thinkers. OK, read between the lines in anything somebody says. OK, uh, read between the lines. Oh, yeah. Bonnie was on my live the other day. Bonnie was on my live the other day. This is the woman. Said, Ooh, I'm scared of Larry. He may come to my house. Why are you on my line? Uh, 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 somebody just said I'm on uh, what do you call it? I'm going to the welfare office house. I'm getting ready to show you where I'm going. Uh, uh, hey, no nonsense. Uh, Zionia Pearl, you two always hit me up and thank you for your well wishes. Okay, thank you. Uh, say back to Vonnie, get off her. Vonnie's on my page. What am I supposed to say? You said that I'm going to the welfare office. I'm getting ready to show you where I was going, okay? So you all can see this. And it's sad. I, it's sad you always have to prove yourself to stupid people. Watch this. Y'all see this? Chinese food. Watch I pick this up. Excuse me. Hi. Yes. I see that. Yeah. Yum yum. Okay. Yes, sweet and sour. And, um... All right, thank you. Excuse me. Mm -hmm. Y'all see all that stuff? Excuse me, sir. Okay, as you see, somebody said I'm at the welfare office. <laughs> I'm getting Chinese food. Uh, if anybody gets the chance to know me, I'm just a, I'm just a regular guy, okay? I'm just a regular guy uh, enjoying my life. And uh, that's about it. But um, as far as my daughter's stuff, I'm not going to really talk about it anymore. I'll let it play out however, however it's going to play. Oh, excuse me. I'm going to let it play out however it's going to play. But... Um, um, uh, God bless you all. Thank you for the well wishers or whatever. And, um, uh, Edie, thank you. Hit my email up at Larry, the lawyer, seven, four at Gmail. Um, um, stay prayed up, pay for it. But also the person who told my daughter that she take the test too. That's the last time I'm going to say that. Okay. Stop telling me to take the test or whatever, but turn around and have her take the test too. Okay. Period. It's sad that you you could you could tell her, you know what? I saw him on top of a building, girl. He was kicking over stuff. Daddy, you was on top of a building kicking up things. That when you can manipulate somebody like that, that's sad. Oh man. Uh her mom and I, uh, my daughter, Tanaya, uh, we got along like cats and dogs, but she knew I was a good father. So now what TSCC is doing is trying to beg her, uh, and I heard this to the uncle. Uh, trying to beg her to do uh, an interview. And so what she can do, uh, uh, what she can do is just sit there and tell the mama, here, get on camera, because he called you this, he called you that, he called you this. So then it's like, okay, well, maybe I can say something. You know, it, it, I know your game now. God bless you. Um, I'm, I'm not going to really try to defend myself no more. This, the allegations that my daughter said is something that somebody just told her like six months ago. This is this is brand new. That's why it caught me off guard. This is six months ago stuff. I saw him bouncing you on your lap or whatever. Um, uh, uh, and and that's about it. Um, um, my daughter uh, said something to my wife in Peoria. Uh, that was, and I got one last thing to say when I finish this. Okay, my daughter said something to my wife to the effect that uh, shut the hell up. You ain't my damn mama. Uh, something like that. It was one of those. We're, we're talking about it in 2005. So I'm going all the way back to 2018, 13 years ago. And I tore her butt up. Yes, I tore her butt up. One time in her life, she got a whooping from me. I pulled her pants down to her ankles or, not, or to her knees, bent over my lap, and I took a belt and I tore her butt up. If that makes me a child abuser, I am guilty. <sighs> she said that I cut her hair bald. I got pictures showing us the day that we were leaving, uh, the day the day of leaving uh, to drive her back home uh, to, well, to my mom. And then, of course, she's going to go from Southern Illinois back to Texas. Uh, I have a cousin that stayed with us. He came for the whole summer with her. It was 13 days. Um, 
he's on Facebook, okay? Uh, his name is, uh, I, I, you know what? I, I, you know what? There's no reason for me to prove it. I'm saying he's on Facebook. I asked him the other day. I said, did I, uh, did I ever, do you remember uh, when you saved for some reason? Yeah. I said, did I ever, uh, tonight I said I cut all her hair. Do you remember that? He said, you didn't cut her hair. I said, she said I starved her for three days. Did y'all go without food? He said, no. He ordering pizza and eating sandwiches and stuff all the time. I said, she said, I, I, I beat her every day, me and Quilla. He said, Quilla never touched her. You whooped her that one time for what she said. But, And the sad thing is people, no, I'm not going to say his name, C. Blue. Uh, he's on Facebook and he's, uh, uh, he, he's, he's, I love him. He, he's the proof. Uh, TSCC, you can get anybody that can do your interviews and talk about me. I don't care. Uh, there's nobody on my side of the family that can say anything. I moved away from here when I was 17 to Decatur. When I moved back, I was 31. So, you know, if you're going to interview whoever, you know, you can, uh, set up whatever i don't care i'm not going to explain myself no more but i did want to say to all everybody who keep on saying are you stable are you going to be upset do something thank you for the well wishers um the only thing tscc I'm, I'm gonna be honest with you okay you talk to two people on my uh my, my side who who I, i'm waiting for you who Uh, the, uh, I'm not going to really uh, give you a response on that, but everybody's been asking me, um, is everything okay? Are you stable? Are you going to do anything? I'm not, I'm not that type of person. Okay. Um, uh, that's, that's about it. Uh, I love my freedom too much to do anything that's going to jeopardize it. Uh, oh yeah. One last thing. Um, I think TSCC, uh, you did my background check and you said something about the, uh, health department, health code. And then you said, I don't know, he probably was giving out AIDS or something. You remember, uh, you said that? In Decatur, Illinois, when you own property, yes, I own real estate, okay? What happens is, if you do not pay the trash bill, that's called an ordinance violation, which is a health, it's under health code violation. Health code violations, uh, uh, health code violation basically means that, hey, you, didn't pay your trash bill, and somebody could possibly get sick with trash in, in the uh, in the atmosphere or whatever. So when they put that under that, you try to turn it into oh he's passing out disease. No, well that's what you were implying, whatever you said. Anyway, uh, I'm gonna get off here. Uh, for everybody who emailed me asking me how am I doing, I'm doing great. Okay, I'm doing great. Um, you see what I'm doing? Uh, I love you all and thank you as I, I used to say this in the beginning but i love you and there's nothing you can do about it tscc 03 i know you're a scum artist i know you stupid i know you're talking about me and my edges and doing little edited videos talking about me well i love you too and ain't nothing you can do about it okay you can try to spit it on me down me or whatever when you call when you have people call the church what i thank god i was able to talk to the pastor before you did i said it's coming so whatever he already got you or whatever, but I love you all, uh, 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 the lovers, the haters or whatever. Uh, and I thank God for the critical thinkers. Um, I'm, I'm, I'm grateful. I'm blessed. And uh, I'm not going to be on here too much after this. I'm going to try not to. It's, it's hard to keep. Um, it's, it's hard to uh, be quiet, but um, uh, I'm blessed. I'm, I'm blessed. God has blessed me. I've uh, she talked about my edges. She talked about I had an S curl or whatever. She talked about I was fat. Uh, and, you know, everything. I love you all. I don't have time for controversy. I'm 44 years old. Uh, I've, I've had, um, I forgot the uh, Lipstick Alley. I asked you all to go to, uh, uh, go to Lipstick Alley and uh, look up uh, TSCC. Just, just look up stuff and then you can know who she is, okay? Somebody told me about the website, Lipstick Alley. And TSCC, you owe me some money. All the all the uh, videos you did about me, your, your subscription went up, way up. In fact, when you interviewed me that first time, I had more subs than you before I canceled that page. So uh, do whatever. Lipstick Alley, uh, let me know exactly what type of person she is. Uh, uh, Tracy, 
that uh, follows. Uh, 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 thank you, Crump Family Values. Uh, uh, this is a friend I met a long time ago, uh, ex, -Je uh, Je uh, ex Jehovah's Witness, and we got along great or whatever. Uh, I miss your friendship. You're a cool person. Thank you. Uh, but when you use critical thinking, you cannot have somebody to tell you at the age of 22. Hey, I saw your dad bouncing you in your lap. But naked, he must have did something. Why didn't that person who said that call the police back then in 95? 1995, this is 2018. Somebody tell you, I'm going to just tell everybody on YouTube. That's a lie. And I can't say too much because every time I say it, TSCC will call my daughter. Let's go over the strategy on the next video, and then they'll talk about me. So my daughter's being coached very well. Uh, uh, do a videotape of uh, her at, at her, um, what do you call the place? Um, the therapy sessions. It's not going to happen. No, no I'm, I'm, I'm not talking about going outside of a building. Here I am and then cut it off. But do a, a, a session where you're, uh, a tape where you're at the therapy session. It's not going to happen. This thing is crazy. As far as Miss Bonnie or whatever, I love her. Uh, Bonnie, uh, I love her. God bless her. This is a scorned woman. Uh, uh, as long as she's talking about Judge Kavanaugh and Donald Trump, you don't pay attention. But when she talks about Larry, whoo, let's go to her page. So, uh, 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 you don't know. I'm a uh, uh, hey, Tracy. Um, um, I no, Tracy. What I was saying is, I thank you for your videos. I saw how you were basically defending yourself against the TSC C person, and uh, I thought I was the only one. But when I saw her talking about you like you were a complete dog, I was like, wow. So, you know, you made me feel better. Uh, affect me when they called my church. But, you know, once my pastor knew the stupidity, you know, he's ready for it now. Um, no, the pastor's not involved, but I told him, you know, there's some silly stuff going on and this is YouTube. So, you know, I guess he, uh, everyone, Miss Bonnie's about to go live. What can Bonnie say about me? I have not talked to this woman and I don't know how long. What she's going to say? She's going to say, I'm an evangelist. I love the Lord Jesus. Uh, uh, yeah, I, I know. What can Bonnie say about me, y'all? It's only so many times you can say Larry's name before it gets old. Bonnie, are you in love with him? Do you really want this light-skinned, beautiful thing? Huh? Did the brown eyes turn you on? Come on now. There's nothing she can say after a while it gets old. What Bonnie should do is concentrate on being an evangelist, as she says, and concentrate on the Lord Jesus, doing videos on Jesus. Let's be realistic, okay? Uh, you say, how does the pastor feel? My pastor loves me, and I love my pastor. He knows my character. Um, uh, you know, and, and that's cool. Uh, says somebody say, I'm in love with Jay Wilcox. Uh, <laughs> Jay, Jay Wilson, um, I haven't talked to him. I don't know how long, but uh, I respect the man's hustle. And um, uh, yeah, thank you, D, D Cops Holmes. Uh, I'm going to say this and I'm done. Thank you, D Cops. And, and, you know, me and this brother used to go back and forth, hit each other online. But for him to say that, that means a lot. So I'm going to say this. Um, I'm trying to choose my words correctly, you all. Be a critical thinker, okay? Be a critical thinker. Uh, I have no problem with uh, my daughter's side of the family. I don't have a problem with my children. I don't have a problem with my record. This is something that just popped up six months ago that whispered in her ear by a woman who said, I'm going to do tit for tat because I told my other daughter your mom was a prostitute. So she had right? my daughter believe I was a prostitute. Okay, well, my daughter was locked up for two years. Two and a half years in a group home. Could not leave. So anyway, they investigated me. My daughter was supposed to move in with me. But after, you know, the mom talked to Tanaya and, you know, Tanaya called down there and raised hell with the group home. They said, well, we're going to have to wait because your other daughter's saying this and that. And they didn't investigate everything. So anyway, uh, no nonsense. Thank you. Uh, for those who want to really hit me up and talk to me because I'm not going to be on it that much, my address or my email is... Um, Larry the lawyer 74 at gmail and also everybody go to Bonnie Vaughn 74 page T, uh, TSCC is letting everybody know that go to her page and listen to uh, 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 go to Bonnie Vaughn 45's page and listen to 
her great commentary on somebody she hasn't talked to in I don't know how long, uh, how she's going to defend herself being a Christian woman, an evangelist of the gospel of Jesus Christ, how everybody's just defaming her. Go to her page right now. I'm done with this. God bless you all. My health is okay. My mindset is stable. Don't worry about me. Keep on doing the smut uh, interviews or whatever, because you only can make money when you talk about me. Other subjects, it goes down. So I know I'm the hot man on uh, YouTube now. But God bless you all. I'm not going to uh, uh, do that. And uh, also, everybody, remember, go to, uh, thank you, uh, Sean Bradley. Yes, yes, yes. Five Baby did a video or whatever. Awesome. She thinks outside of the box. She, um, I sent her pictures, my, my, real quick. I sent my uh, Five Baby pictures of my daughter on the day that we were leaving uh, Peoria, she stayed with me one time in uh, from the age of 8 to 20. One time in 12 years. She stayed 13 days. Her and my little cousin, who is on Facebook, and he can verify the whole thing. Um, I sent her pictures of my daughter's hair. She's braiding her hair on the way back, leaving the swimming pool. Nobody cut her hair. Nobody cut her hair. Thank God for pictures. Thank God for pictures. Um, uh, Stale receipt, yeah. Well, TSCC, you would say that because you're the one trying to get scandal from my daughter, okay? I told everybody this, okay? I was wrong for not being in her life. When her mom moved to Texas, it was done. Uh, I called, we argued on the phone. Hey, my, my child's important, you know. I, I just didn't um, do that. TSCC, you're lying. My mom has not talked to you. My mom would not talk to you. I... Let's do let's do this. You kept saying the other night, send you some money through Walmart. Get my mother on the phone. Tonight knows her number. Get her on the phone and make her talk to you. I promise you she won't. Ever. I promise you that. Do it. And I will watch the video and tell you, yeah, that's my mom's voice. No, what y'all the only way you can get her on the phone is y'all gotta tape the conversation where she's going back and forth with Tanaya and Tanaya. Uh, whatever. That's it. You can't get my mother. That's my mother. See, beyond this YouTube stupid stuff, that's my mother. She loves me. I know this is how you do your thing. She loves me. My mom loves me. Uh, so anyway, uh, Tracy, living my truth, uh, your video, uh, not, not really defending yourself, but uh, commenting. You bless me, sister. And I'm I'm being serious, okay? I know I know we've never really got along on YouTube, me arguing with the LBG GBT and all the stuff that I was saying in the past. You blessed me because I thought I was the only one. You blessed me. Uh, anybody who wants to know about TSCC, uh, uh, go to uh, Lipstick Alley. That's a website that shows how she's did a lot of corrupt videos or whatever. And I never threatened you saying I was going to come there. What I said. And what happened was you made me so mad that I kept thinking, you know what, if I ever saw her, I, I don't hit women, I don't fight women or whatever, but you, you, you push that button. But that's what you do. You're taping this now, so let them say something crazy so I can put them on blast. I'm not going to give you the satisfaction. So, so this is what you do. Go for it. I love you all. God bless you. Uh, uh, peace. Give me uh, peace and uh uh, Sean Bradley, thank you for uh, your, I saw your live yesterday, okay? Uh, I, I really want to chime in, but thank you. It was awesome. Um, what's her name? Uh, Five Baby. I didn't know it was going to be all like that, but thank you. She did what you call critical thinking. Critical thinking thinks outside the box. Say, wait a minute, something's not fitting up. Uh, thank you so much. Dana Dane, I love you too. Call me. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I love you too. Mwah. I love you. Call me baby. <laughs> that's some more scandal y'all I love you all I'm okay uh, I just want to respond I'm on here too long I'm getting ready to eat my Chinese food y'all see that I got a lot of Chinese food well, excess down there I'm getting ready to eat enjoy myself uh, go to uh, uh, go to um, what is her name again Bonnie Vaughn 45 go to her page she says she's on live uh, this is a woman who I haven't talked to I'm sure she's talking about me I want you all to go back there and ask her some words Whatever. God bless you all. Peace.